Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Oblivion. Well, last time, we had a good look round the city of Skingrad, sorted out some local problems, and more importantly, we made it to level 8. And that means finally, Satan's willing to accept my offering of brandy and give me a mission, so... Okay, last time we got a mission from a Daedric Prince, it was a bit tricky, but the reward was pretty damn good. Ah, another mortal. Come to beg Sanguine to add a bit of spice to an otherwise drab existence. I would have you perform a service for me. The Castle Leowin is a dull, dreary place. The mistress is an especially somber soul. And tomorrow, she will hold another excruciating dinner party. I want you to liven it up. Use this spell on the Countess and her guests. I think it will make the party much more interesting. You should probably try to be inconspicuous, or they might kill you. Oh, and the party is by invitation only. You'll have to find a way in. Have fun. Okay, now this seems interesting. I need to cast a spell on the Countess during a dinner party, but... Yeah, I need to find a way to infiltrate the castle first. And potentially, yeah, that's not going to be popular. So, alright, let's go do it. Here we go, start reality. So, it's got its own unique effect. 300 feet for 120 seconds on target. And also, ooh, drains health. Right, so I'm actually going to be hurting these people. Potentially, can I use this spell now, by the way? Oh, I can as well. Here, have some start reality. And, okay, his, his clothes just fell off. That's, that's interesting. Though, okay, yes, we're going to be resetting reality now, but... Okay, start reality means stark naked. It's, it's the stripping people... My alteration just went up to 25. Okay, so that's, that's interesting. We can just make people's uh, clothes fall off, if that's what we want to do. Just, okay, just don't mind me, except only his... For some reason. Also, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm attacking my horse. Okay, let's pretend none of this happens. Except, hang on. Now I'm curious. Could I use this to strip the armor off somebody? Because if it could take armor off. Ooh. This might actually be a useful practical spell. Okay, um, slight, slight issue here. Which is, Leowin is at the edge of the cocking world. It is... Literally the furthest city from the Imperial City. Like, consider the amount of time it took me to get from the Imperial City to Skingrad. Leowin appears to be about three times further and has an entire city, Bravil, between them and me. So, no. I'm not doing it. I am not beginning a great journey to Leowin. Alright, it's not happening. We'll do it when we get there. And, uh, oh blimey. That means something rather exciting. After everything we've done across Northern Cyrodiil, it's time. We're going to Kvatch. Okay, all armor appears to be in perfect condition. All weapons, perfect condition. Only thing we need is... Uh, Yes, indeed. Tiny bit more charge in the sword, but we can do that by ourselves, damn it. Locate Wolf. Give him a damn good slashing. And then one a quick soul trap for you. Soul has been captured. Beautiful. And you're back up to full condition. Lovely. And I tell you what, I know from the alternative reality where I stripped this guy naked and caused him to attack me, I'm almost at the next level of uh, alteration. There we go, 25. So now I can do apprentice alteration spells. So in the event that yes, any of the business at Kvatch involves swimming, that could be very useful. So okay, I think we're ready. So we know what we're doing here. We know what we're doing. We're getting on the horse. 
I am driving my horse to Kavach. I roll up on a noble steed. He's like, you know, fairly noble, I suppose. And then we just say, Martin, you are our greatest hope. We get him on the horse. We take him back to the Imperial City. He lights the dragon fires. Oblivion crisis done. Be flipping beautiful. Okay, back at the farms of Skingrad. It should be straight up this road. We've seen it in the distance before. So, okay. The important thing is, do not get distracted by anything, okay? No matter what happens, we are going to Kavach right now. We're not stopping to pick flowers. We're not stopping to explore random mines. We're going. We're going to go and save the world. Martin, I'm really sorry about this. If you're curious, by the way, yes, the save file does actually mark how long you've been playing the game, like in universe. So I can confirm it took me two weeks to get to the Wayne and Priory, and then after that, another month and a half to get to right now. So Martin has been waiting for approximately two months to actually get to me. I'm not going in the cave. All right, not doing it. Though I may as well, like, you know, just, just, there we go. Firelight Cave, that's a nice name. I can't deny I'm tempted, but no! No, to Kvatch we go! It's right there. The walls of Kvatch. We've made it, though admittedly, by the looks of the map, I suspect it's going to be built on, yeah, like a really steep cliff, and the only way to get to it is uh, this path right here. So, I'm guessing, uh, oh. I just noticed, unlike every other city in the game, I can't just fast travel here. So, I'm guessing there's trouble, and we're gonna need to fight our way up that, uh, yes, path to the city itself. So, okay, you, buddy, you appear to be the local police. If there's trouble in Kavach, I expect you to be getting involved and helping me out as well. So, uh, alright, what's the exact nature of the trouble we're talking about here? Okay, I'm going to be honest, it may be bears because I'm having my ass handed to me by a bear right now. Okay, we need to go over to the good healing spells. Actually, there's, there's a bear around and I cannot deal with the bear. Here we go. Proper healing. Oh, no, I can't summon any more zombie friends. Okay, oh, bear has, bear has kicked the ass of... Uh-oh. Okay, might need to go over to um, potions, potentially. The local bears appear to be quite tough, actually. And okay, just... Just shield up. If he takes a swing at you, back away. Because, oh, never mind. I'm about to lose to a bear. Was it bears? Were bears the oblivion crisis? I'm applying poison. We're going over to poison. And I'm also spamming potions. Where's the bear gone? And no. Right, poison. Back off. He's suffering damage over time. Okay. This was admittedly an embarrassingly small bear. I feel like bears in Skyrim are much bigger. But that bear just basically destroyed me. That was okay. So, apparently bears. Bears the local problem. I can't get past the local bears. Okay, I think we've reached the, yes, critical junction here. So, keep going down the road. That'll be Anvil, down in that direction. Weather's taken a bit of a turn, it must be said. And Kvatch must be, yeah. Kvatch, therefore, is uh, up this path, right here in a, uh oh is this one of those bad things happening so it started raining situation? Because I suspect it might be. This seems uh, very dramatic, to be honest. I found somebody's folly. That's all. Did I just take the wrong branch? No, no, everything's fine. We're going to the right place here. So, uh, all right, buddy. Come on, run while there's still time. The guard still holds the road, but it's only a matter of time before they're overwhelmed. Okay, so bears. So many bloody bears. We need to sort out the bear problem. God's blood. You don't know, do you? Deidre overran Kvatch last night. There were glowing portals outside the walls. Gates to oblivion itself. There was a huge creature. Something out of a nightmare. Came right over the walls. Blasting fire. They swarmed around it. Killing... Okay, potentially worse than bears. Go and see for yourself. Kvatch is a smoking ruin. We're all that's left, do you understand me? Everyone else is dead. Okay, so I need to find a Martin. Martin can't be dead. I really hope Martin's not dead. Though, you got out, so how did you get out? Because that's how I'm getting it in. It was Savly and Mattias. 
Some of the other guards helped some of us escape. They cut their way out, right through the city gates. Sablian says they can hold the road. No, no, I don't believe him. Nothing can stop them. If you'd seen it, you'd know. I'm getting out of here before it's too late. They'll be here any minute, I'm telling you. Run while you can. Oh, that's a good dramatic reading right there. So, okay, he's just um, naffing off, and unfortunately, yes, I was hoping for... Oh, there's a secret back sewer entrance. You can just go in that way. And, oh, that's a new symbol on the compass. Oh, that's... That's concerning. I found the oblivion bit of oblivion, I suspect. So, okay. We just need to go in right through the main gate. Not really how I do things. I'm going to be honest, Blossom. I feel like this might not be the right thing for you. You stay here. That's a good horse. Okay, we need to figure out what the cock's going on. Here we go. People I can talk to. Have you heard of someone called Martin? Um, I think he's a priest in... Shrine of RK, I swear someone said that. You mean the priest? I don't think he made it out of the city. Very few of us did. But Savly and Mattias might know more. He's in charge of the city guard that are defending the camp. Okay, so just go and find the city guard chap. He might know a bit more. Okay, so I may have been slightly looting the refugees' possessions that they got out of the town, and I found the tent of... Uh, this guy, the commander who was the big damn hero who saved everybody. And I can't help but notice, he's got a special cavat shield. Now, okay, if I can't go in on a horse, then the bare minimum that I could do would be going in with the cavat shield. Now that, that's going to make me look more badass. So we're having that. It appears to be, yes, a variant of the light iron shield. I found one of them previously, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, flipping yeah. That's badass. The apron less so, I will admit. But for the most part, this is pretty badass. Okay, newly stolen shield in a hand. Let's go and speak to... Oh, bloody hell. This guy just got suddenly very... Red and angry, actually. I'm guessing this is the effect of, um... Yes, an oblivion gate. Does strike me, by the way. Zombie friend might not be... Oh, dear. Kind of getting the vibe I'm walking into hell here. Zombie friend might not be good enough for this. Like, there could be an argument for... Oh, dear. Right, that's an oblivion gate, then. And it would appear that you, buddy, are... Okay, there's definitely trouble. We got ourselves demons, little... What are you guys? You imps or scamps or something and take you down. Okay, stunted scamp, nothing too dramatic so far. So, okay, the gate is just spawning demons. But this guy, he can deal with it. No, 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 no. Okay, I know what we need to do. I'm going to help you guys out. There you go. There's some healing. And for you... Oh, we've got matching shields. Don't ask me where I got mine from. But yes, indeed, I can keep you. I can't keep you alive. It's a bit magic intensive, to be honest. So this is all that's left of the entire city guard. Three people desperately trying to, uh, yes, just stop an oblivion gate from spawning monsters forever. Though, I mean, just out of interest. I just want Martin. Can I just, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Can I just go, like around the back of the Oblivion Gate and just go in the gate. Because I'm not sure I actually necessarily need to do any of this. Bloody hell, can I actually just do this? Can I, can I just go into Kavach and completely ignore the Oblivion Gate? <laughs> okay, I can, but uh-oh. Okay, I feel like this, this might be, this might be a, okay, I feel like I should do this with friends, actually. Because there was definitely one of the, the bigger, what are they called? The demons that are like weirdly hollow, sexy, naked ladies. I can't remember their names. Atronax. No, wait, those are the big, those are the big ones. What are the sexy naked lady ones called? I can't remember. Oh, the sky's looking less red and angry. That's good. Hello, what's the deal? This is no place for you. Get back to the encampment at once. No, 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 no. It turns out I'm the protagonist. And also I need to find Martin. So what's the plan, buddy? What precisely happens? Lost the damn city. That's what happened. It was too much. 
too fast. We were overwhelmed. Couldn't even get everyone out. There are still people trapped in there. Some made it to the chapel, but others were just run down in the streets. The Count and his men are still holed up in the castle. And now we can't even get back into the city to help them. That damned oblivion gate blocking the way. Um, have you tried walking around it? Because I'm going to be honest, that works. You can't just walk around it and go in the gate. I just did it. It was fine. Are you not supposed to do that? Is, is that not supposed to happen? Was that a bug? I don't know. But, um... Apparently this guy didn't consider the possibility of walking around the Oblivion Gate. But okay, you're not supposed to be thinking like that possibly. What's the plan, buddy? I sent men into the gate to see if they could find a way to shut it. They haven't come back. If you can get in there, find out what happened to them. If they're alive, help them finish the job. If not, see what you can do on your own. The best I can say is good luck. If you make it back alive, we'll be waiting for you. Okay, so the situation is, he's waiting outside till the gate is closed. If I can close the gate, he can come into the main city with his guys and me. That means I've got some backup. I'm guessing going into the city without him, bad call. However, honestly, going through the hell gate seems like a bad call too in a way. So okay, getting reinforcements seems like the most sensible thing to do. Follow his instructions, and that means we're going into... Are we going into Oblivion? Is that where we're actually going? I mean, I assume as an Oblivion gate is a gate from Oblivion to the real world. That means I'm going into Oblivion right now. So, okay. I don't know how well this is going to go. I am modestly concerned this could be, you know... Oh! Also, someone just tossed a fireball at me. Okay, it was just you. If it's just these little scamps... That's not so bad, to be honest. Okay, there are more of them. Would you guys mind coming into... There we go. Yeah, I feel like these guys. These guys are the real badasses. And we should just potentially let them do the work. Because you guys seem to be killing scamps in like one hit. And I'm definitely not. Oh, the red sky means more of them are coming in. That's how I can tell reinforcements are on the way. Okay, I getcha. I getcha. Let's go over to bow. I'm stronger with a bow, so... All right, just help myself to a handful more arrows. And also, ooh, skin. Everybody loves skin. We're going in. Oblivion, here we come. Oh, bloody hell, the loading screen tip is save off and Oblivion is going to kick your ass. So, okay, that's, that's a concern right there. Oh, I see reinforcements. Okay, I'm going to send reinforcements of my own. It's going to be... Great, and then sorry if I just shot you by the way, that would have been a mistake. So, oh yeah, you are kicking ass and taking names, buddy. You seem much more badass than me. Let's just get some uh, flipping lovely sexy marksmen up. There we go, more coming. Wait for them to actually be firing. When they do, they hold still for a minute, and oh yeah. Okay, I feel like keeping these guys alive could be my best bet. These guys are definitely... Yeah, hitting a lot, bloody... Okay, don't just run ahead. I need to chat to you. There's... Okay, bloody hell. What is going on here? Right, there's lava. Possibly rivers of blood. Not 100% sure about that. There's... There's a war gate. The gate is open to... Okay, so... Thanks oh, and I, hello! I never thought I'd see another friendly face. The others... Taken. They were taken to the tower. Okay, just... Could we go back to the beginning? I've not been to hell before. Captain Mattias sent us in to try and close the gate. We were ambushed, trapped, and picked off. I managed to escape, but the others are strewn across that bridge. They took many and off to the big tower. You've got to save him. I'm getting out of here. No, 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 no. You need to stay. I need your help here. You're right. You're right. I can't just leave poor Menian to his fate. If he's still alive, we've got to try to save him. All right, lead the way. Let's find Menian and get out of here. Okay, keep this guy alive. Watch his health meter. If need be, yeah, spam convalescence. So there's big gates here. Hang on, do I have a proper map? I would do as well. Okay, but I need to fill it out a bit. So, right. 
I see this corpses, uh, potentially good loot on them, need to find a way to open the gate. Possibly this Menian lad uh, knows how to do it. So, okay, just check everything. There's just a burnt corpse. And we've got ourselves... Oh! The cock is that. Okay, well, I'm firing arrows at it regardless. And uh, it is... It didn't seem to care. It did not seem to care in the slightest. Summon. It's a weird alien monster. It's, it's like a dinosaur demon. Okay, it's a clan fear runt. Oh, that's one the babies, apparently. I think the proper ones might be a lot bigger. How are you doing? Oh, you're not doing so hot. Okay. So, okay, wait, wait, wait. He said tower. There's a tower over there. That feels like that's more over to the left. So, this might not be the right way to go. But I don't know where the good uh, loot is around here also. Ooh, oblivion plants. Oh, I'm going to be honest, mate. I'm primarily... Oh! Okay, oblivion plants are nasty, as it turns out. They're mean, they're bastards, and we need to keep you alive. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Activate convalescence. Don't worry. Ah, oh, you see. I think this is the most sensible thing I can do right now. Keep this guy alive. Stay sneaky. Take out everyone that we can with... Oh, they're so much tougher than me. Oh, this is, this is embarrassing. Go over to, yes, the enchanted weaponry. That's going to do the job nicely. Oh, you're losing your health so fast. I need to just keep you alive as best I can. It's all fine. Everything's going to be under control. Is this a thing? Open. Ooh, it's fleshy things. Bound boots tome. la -de da I'll be taking that. And John, don't miss the fire salts. And it's like, you know, useful. Useful ingredients. And take this then back off. Okay, that time it didn't spray me. That's interesting. Okay, I need to heal myself. And also, oh, I see another clan fear. But I can't get to him right now. Okay. So we're in hell. And you just need to be, you need to be kept alive, basically. We need to keep you going. Best thing I can do. Just spam the healing. I need more magic points. Convalescence is so, so bloody expensive. Okay, back the way we came. By any chance, do enemies regenerate around here? Because I feel like they might do. There's some blood grass. Don't miss the blood grass. Oh, that's a good point. If I wait an hour, I generally get my health and magic back. Does the same apply to you? And all of a sudden... Well, I'm not seeing a health bar. Okay, I think that gets his health back too. Okay, I think if we just wait, we both recuperate a bit. So that there, that could be a good way of keeping him alive. So there's some nice bits of root right there. Just keep your eyes open. Scout ahead. Don't, don't take this lightly. So yeah, we're going to this big old tower right here. It's very pretty. I will admit, this is a pretty area. We just need to rescue your friends. The more people we can rescue, the better. I see you down there, by the way, buddy. You okay? Okay, he's not okay. But that's a silver war axe. That's not terrible. I'll be taking that. I've already got one. But I can just, you know, sell it for a bit of profit. Don't forget the health plants. That could potentially be some very, very good alchemy down the line. feel like I've not got my eye on the prize right now. He is rightly going to be upset that he, you know, is following me and I'm just doing botany. Oh, hang on. This plant bloody fights back. Okay, if you get too close to it, it cocking stabs you. Okay. The plants in the hell are bloody mean. Okay, just, just keep on keeping on. So far, everything's been manageable as long as we all oh. no yes go right go over to thing and then he does uh, some form of spell i don't know what the spell is and okay that's good i think the magic damage is doing a lot more to them the silver axe felt like it wasn't doing much maybe magic bonus damage that's the trek we should be going for right here suggesting i could really do with an enchanted bow and shouldn't have sold that one I found just because it was iron, not steel. Alright, keep on keeping on. Loop around towards the tower. Watch out for the clanfers. Take them out with... Well, I say take them out. Not taking them out. I need to start using... Oh! Okay. Mysterious avalanche. I need to start using every tool at my disposal. 
No exceptions did we get you. We did get you. That was not a bad first hit, to be honest. Right, then deploy you. Deploy thing. If he goes for zombie, that's ideal. Take him out. Okay. We're working. Why has he got a silver spoon? I mean, that's a good weight to value ratio. Good work, zombie friend. Okay. Keep on keeping on. We're doing all right, but just watch out for the... Yes, many, many landslides that occur in this bit of... I didn't... No! You okay? He's fine. I was really worried he was about to be knocked into the lava. If you guys would stop just rolling down the hill, that'd be great. And while we're going, don't forget, keep capturing souls. Because souls, are, that's going to keep this sword going. And this sword seems to be doing way, way better than anything else I've got. Okay, um, slight source of confusion is here. There are many towers. Like, that's a tower right there in that direction. That's a tower. It's tied to a different tower. There's, there's a tower over there as well. And also, there's... There's spinny things in the ground. I'm going to... Right, those are hell mines. Gotcha. Maybe don't don't get too close to uh to them. They explode apparently. Okay. Um try the towers one by one, I suppose. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. I was getting a bit too into my botany and collecting plant samples, uh, and Ilend Vonius, the true hero, he ran ahead and killed what may have been somebody important. This is a Dramora Scout and ooh. Okay, I'll be taking his heart out of his chest and also a giant pile of arrows. I mean, how do those compare to my arrows? Less than steel, but same as iron. Honestly, steel is getting a bit low. Kind of feel like I may as well take those, really. Especially as... Hang on. Hang on, hang on. You are... Ooh! Dramora Light Bow! Oh, never mind. It weighs a bloody ton and it's actually worse than my steel bow. So, okay, maybe get rid of that. Oh, and I think I found the right tower. So, okay, there's a door there. Though, by any chance, this direction. Is this going back to the starting... Oh, blimey. Okay. Giant, giant claws. Watch out for the giant claws. Occasionally, there's giant, giant claws. That's, that's just a thing that... Oh, can you not get past the giant claws? Okay, well, this is embarrassing. Right, zombie friend, this one's up to me and you. Because I suspect we could open a shortcut back to the beginning right now, though. Oh, hang on. We need to make sure we're getting the souls. I need the souls out of this thing. So, soul trap. Are you soul trapped? Yep, there we go. Lovely. There's a soul. Keep you going, buddy. Yep, 100%. This is precisely where we started. But I still can't open it. I was kind of hoping for, you know, a good old Skyrim lever, but apparently not. Right. Might be a bit more complicated. The uh, lever might be, well, if I had to guess, I'd say up at the top of one of these here towers. Yes. All right. Health topped up. Quickly repaired all armor that can be repaired. We're going in. Me and you, buddy. Oh, hang on. You need to top up as well, don't you? Honestly, I am so glad I've got convalescence because uh, keeping this laddie alive, I feel like that is the best thing I can do. Oh, apparently this is the blood feast in here. Oh, I'm so glad we're going into the blood feast where I'm assuming, oh, this is where they take the prisoners. Oh, I'm not feeling good about the, um, the prisoners, by the way, and this is. Oh, okay, hang on. What just happened to me? Oh, it's just a magical restoration. So, okay, if I run lower on at mana, run up to that, and that can get me back my mana in a hurry. Which means I can actually spam a heal on this guy in a hurry. Get a couple of hits in. Right there, go over to charge his sword. Then eat these guys' souls. Use the soul I just ate to keep Mega Sword going. And, oh yeah. Oh, flipping yeah. You are going... I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to hit you. I think I hit the wrong person there by mistake. But it's all fine. You okay? Yeah, you're more than okay for now. Please don't run up ahead and... He's run off ahead into the rending halls. Please don't run off into the rending halls. Okay? Is real time happening right now? Is that the rending halls too? That's also the rending halls. Okay, I'm going to follow him into the rending halls. And I'm going to regret that decision in just a second. Okay? But it's all going to be... It's all going to be fine. Please stop running ahead. 
Okay? Just, just don't. Just stick together. You were supposed to be following me. And also, oh, bloody hell, there's more. Okay, there's bigger things now. This is a Dramora Caitiff. Don't know what that is, uh, precisely. But now there's, oh, there's, now there's many. But I do have zombie friend. Okay, take out the mage. Take out the mage. The mage is probably flimsy. He goes down. Good. And then get on the back of you. Okay. The three of us together, me, the big damn hero of Kavach and Zombie Friend, we can do this. Ooh, and Blood Fountain. Okay, the fountains are top-ups for magic, for health. I'm pretty sure you just went back through... Where's my bloke? There's my bloke. Okay, it's all fine. We're just charging up the tower in a bloody hurry all of a sudden. Okay, zombie friend. You okay by the... Oh, he's not okay! He's, he's not okay. Draw the attention, draw the attention, draw the attention. Okay, do not run ahead. Do you feel better now? Okay, I think he feels better now. We need to make sure that, you know, we're taking everybody's heart and soul and whatnot. This place is a bit of a maze, by the way. Citadel Hall. Not sure I want to go into the Citadel Hall. Not just yet. I'd rather actually have our friend back. Okay, let's get up to, yeah, an extra person on the team before we actually advance into the Citadel. I'm not sure I want to be going into the Citadel. Oh, the Corridors of Dark Salvation. Going to be honest, that doesn't sound much better. But in we go. All right. What's... What's going on in the corridors of dark salvation? It appears to just be a corridor. I'm not really getting the dark salvation thing and Let's I see there's some together. stuff going on. Let's stick together. Well, I want to. You're the idiot who keeps running off into the distance. Right, take you out. Blade skills going up. To be honest, I'm just going to have to accept that. Just, I don't even care about efficient leveling right now. I'm just using the best skills I've got. And we're going for it. You're a bit stronger than some of the others, aren't you? Oh, I think my charge has run off and also I almost died. Okay. What were you? That was a basic scamp. Okay. Have the scamps I've been taking on so far been not scamps? Well, that was a basic scamp, apparently. Okay. For some reason, that one was much, much nastier. Is there a blood fountain in here, by the way? Ooh. Spiky. Right, watch out for traps. This area is apparently nasty and they'd probably kill me in one hit at the moment. Okay, most of the doors are locked. Only way we can actually go is back outside. Presumably to that bridge. Yes, indeed. We saw the bridge earlier. So, okay. Over to a smaller tower in this direction. Just to make sure I'm not missing anything important. Thought there might be something, you know, important happening off to one side to show me. But okay, it's fine. The Reaper's Sprawl. Okay, whoever named this place, they were trying just a little bit too hard, and... Okay, hang on, where, where are you going? What's what's your concern? You've drawn your sword, uh, you're apparently worried about something. Are we going up or down? Okay, let's start at the bottom and work our way... Oh, there's a lot of bottom, actually. Okay, there's... Oh, hang on. Someone was yelling. Hi! We got a... Who are you? Oh, there's, there's, there's definitely a... No, 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 no. Sigil Keeper. That seems important. Take you down, buddy. Electric bonus damage is saving my ass, to be honest. Okay, don't let him get away. He's important. Data Heart. Key. Yes, got the key. Right. Are you, by any chance, Mantius something? Quickly. Quickly. There's no time. You must get to the top of the large tower. The Sigil Keep, they call it. That's what keeps the Oblivion Gate open. Find the Sigil Stone. Remove it and the gate will close. Hurry! The Keeper has the key. You must get the key. Okay, so that sorts that out, but I'm going to be honest, buddy. You're coming with us. I hope you're coming with us. I'm trying to activate the cage. Does anyone know how to activate the cage? Okay, just... I feel like we should let this guy out, because otherwise we're going to close the gate and then he's trapped in here, like, forever. So, do you want me to free your friend by any chance? This just keeps getting better and better. What do you want me to do? I want you to release your friend. How do we do said thing? Like, we were supposed to find him and he told us the information we needed, but I feel like we shouldn't just leave him trapped in hell forever. Don't worry about me, there's no time. Get moving! I'm gonna be honest, mate, I've wasted, like, half a day just picking flowers in a hell. I would not worry about the 30 seconds it would take to get you free, but if you are determined to martyr yourself, I will not stand in your way. Let's go, buddy. 
Okay, back to the main tower, because yes, there was a door that needed a key. I'm guessing that's what that key's for, though. There's another sub-tower in this direction for some reason. So, okay, back to the Corridors of Dark Salvation. Then, if we take a left here, is this out onto... Well, that's the Citadel... Oh, blimey. Okay, creepy-ass door... Everybody ready. Here we go. We got the big lads here. He's going straight for my friend. But that's fine. Because, yeah, honestly, I'm actually doing the DPS, I think, at this point. And down you go. Together, we got him. Take his heart. Because why not? That'll be... I thought that'd be out onto that walkway. But maybe not. We're doing okay for the time being. And this will probably lead back down to the two doors I saw earlier. I'm guessing. Yeah, there we go. So we can bypass you if need be. But no, screw that noise. I'm also putting some arrows in you as well. And did you just get stabbed? Oh, I think you did as well, you stupid loser. Lovely. Uh, hang on. That side passageway led round to, yes, the other walkway we saw. Now, this looks like a small place. This might be where they're keeping, oh, the meat harbour. Oh, I've got a bad feeling about the meat harbour too. Right, get some friends in play. I need souls, by the way. Kind of, kind of important, actually. So, hold still for a second. Right, help myself to soul. There we go. Yes, I know it's out of charge. It's going to be fine. I'm fixing it right now. Right, have a look-see Downey. I see there's trouble. Drop zombies. In fact, I could probably drop a zombie from one floor to the next, potentially. A whole bunch of stuff here. Hang on, what was that? There was something going on in this bit of the world. Yes, a zombie. You draw the attention. Then we've got ourselves weird platform. Does anyone know what's going on with the weird... Oh, this is the punished. Oh, that's, that's concerning. Right, round the back of you. There we go. There's an ascension call. Okay, I'm going to suggest you don't stand on that thing when I do that. You're the punished. Soul gems and also money. Right, this might be what happened to people. The other people, I mean. So, all right, leave that. It's a bit heavy. You're not standing on that right now. Okay, activate that. The lift appears to be too damaged to do anything. Well, bloody useless. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on here precisely, but there's clearly some form of a lift mechanism. Hang on. Stand off that, please. Badly damaged. Oh, it's a corpse masher! Oh, I see! That's what happened to these guys. They got mashed by the corpse masher. Okay, feel like there's not, you know, any desperately good treasure here. But it is nice to know they've got corpse mashers in oblivion. So, okay, we're now just going... Up and up and up the main tower. This is my main destination. He's not running around like an idiot suggesting... Oh, hello. Oh, sorry. You're a bad guy. I thought you were someone to... Oh, I'm so sorry. I've hit you several times and... I'm really sorry. I, I didn't mean to do any of that. That was all a mistake. Okay, slightly chaotic fight there. But it all worked out in the end. Sorry, I forgot this guy was... Ooh. Okay, I say ooh. Like, shock resistance 15% feels uh, very situational. I feel like that might be more of a, yeah, sell thing than a use thing. All right, that's everyone I can see here. So what we do have is, uh, okay, teleportation. And now we are, okay, there's a punished. Seen one of you guys before. You're with me, are uh, Yeah, all right, through the teleporter. We're just going, ooh. Okay, we're almost at the top now, buddy. We're almost there, though. Uh, my sword is badly damaged, and there's only so much I can do about that because uh, I can recharge it, but I can't actually, yeah, repair the condition. So the base damage is going down, but the actual... Oh, hello. Okay, don't don't mind me. Just get behind you. Okay, you've got to have a good soul on you, though, right? I mean, I feel like you've got a good soul. Let's get some good soul damage on you. Soul trap. Lovely. Finish you off, and there we go. Okay, I feel like you had an excessively large soul, or maybe you're, uh, maybe you're, like, considered a person for the sake of uh, souls, because, uh, yeah, if it can't fit inside a Zora, that must mean it needs a black soul jam. Okay, two doors to proceed, and the, ooh, 
Sigil. We know we're looking for Sigil. Don't need to unlock it. I got the key. So, okay. We could have just ignored that guy. Fought our way straight up and, uh, yeah, just hacked the door. So, uh, all right. This is it. Whatever's here, this has got to be the bad guy. Okay, there's a blood fountain out here. If I run into trouble in health, then you just drew your sword, didn't you? Well, that's concerning. All right, buddy. What have we got? Oh, I see trouble. I see trouble. Let him come to us. Let him come to us. Uh, no need for anything here. Oh, blimey. Okay, you know what? That guy's using lightning. So, take off this ring. That's bloody useless for the time being. Put on the ring of storms. Oh, yeah. You just try electrocuting me now, buddy. All right. So far, nothing too bad. There's a giant pile of magicka for me. Up to the top. I assume it's going to be right to the top of the room. And I'm guessing we've got more to deal with. Oh, yeah. He's yelling about something. Okay, stick with him. What have we got so far? Just a more zombie friend. Yep, it's you guys. Just the k -tips. So, okay. Keep taking them down. All together, we can do it. If we just stick to... Oh, you're not in a good place right now, buddy. It's fine. We are going to survive. All right, we're all making it out of here. Don't panic, buddy. There's only so much further to go. We're almost at the top, buddy. We're almost at the top, which is good. Because my sword that's kind of keeping me going is about to fall apart. So, all right. Here we go to this. I'm guessing when I take this, they're going to know about it. Meaning there could be trouble. But, here we go. The sigil stone. Activate that and woobly woo. Okay, I have got a sub-adjacent thing. What's happening? What, what's happened to my... Where'd my friend go? And where'd I go? And... Okay, how did you open those gates in that case? And okay, well, I may have missed something. Because I never managed to open those gates. Okay, so the way to Kavach is now open. It was literally already open. Also, are oh, you survived. Well done, you big damn hero. What's the plan? I mean, I just just got you out of hell, buddy. We're, we're back outside, but sure, keep following me if you want to. Right, Captain, job done. Went into hell, stole their thing, got back out again, saved this guy. Not the other guy, though. He was very determined to martyr himself. I did try. You closed the gate. I knew you could do it. This is our chance to launch a counterattack. I need you to come with us. You've got far more combat experience than these men. Are you able to join us now? I can wait, but not for long. We've got to move quickly before they have a chance to barricade the city gate. Now this, this is what I wanted. Yes, though, oh. Going to be honest, I kinda need to go down the, oh, I don't need to go to a nearest town. There is a woman in the camp just down the road who's a repair person. I will be right back, but my sword is knackered. I need to fix it or I'm screwed. Here we flip it go and it's so cheap too. Just fix up literally everything, especially the apron. Alright, now that's more like it. Let's conking go. Ah, but on the way, hang on. The sigil stone isn't just, you know, a plot thing I've got in my inventory to hand over to somebody. I was kind of assuming I was going to give it to Martin or something. It's an item. Like a soul jam, except it doesn't recharge an item, it adds an enchantment. So I can... hang about, hang about, hang about. I see. I can basically take an item and make it better. Oh, well, this is actually rather exciting, because that's actually way more damage. Fire damage at 10 points on strike, that's... That's a lot of damage right there. That's, I'm pretty sure, yeah, the jolts is like five points a strike. And so many enemies seem way weaker to the bonus effect than to anything else. Or alternatively, I could put it on, ah, I see, hang on. I put it on armor, it gives me resist fire. Or I put it on weapon, it gives me fire damage. So I choose. So, okay. This seems like a really, really good opportunity to get, yes, 
a blunt weapon with an enchantment on it. And to be honest, this here war axe made of incredibly soft, useless silver that needs to be repaired constantly. This thing has been a good, noble alloy to me. If anything deserves to be made over then again, John. Oh, the bow, John. But it is a steel bow. I just kind of feel like... At some point, I'm going to need to swap out the bow, because it is a steel bow. And I have seen a silver bow in the wild. What's her face? The other person who wants to join the Thieves' Guild. She had one. Okay, I'm going to give it to the War Axe. The War Axe feels like it deserves it. It has served to me so well. Although, ooh, 80 uses. Doesn't feel like much, but screw it. We're going to do it. Ooh, I need to... I need to name it. And thus, my new sidearm I axed you nicely is born. Be flipping beautiful. All right, everybody's going in, including the lad I saved. He's the one without the helmet. So, okay, we are all going in. Now, this is better. I'm going in with an elite mega kill team. This here, oh, this is going to be good. In we go, lads. Let's go save Kavach. So, okay, and... Uh, what are we doing? Enter the city. Kind of already did, actually, but it's fine. Clear the plaza before the survivors can be rescued. Okay, we're sorting out the city in a... Oh, yeah, it's you guys. Definitely feel like... John, I feel like a fire enchantment might not... Fire damage effect resisted. Oh, cocky genius. I've only just put this on, and all of a sudden... Right, they're just... Guys? Are we just ignoring the... Everything, actually? Okay, well, this is... This is all gone. This is all gone wrong. Actually, take you out. 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 Are you the summoner? Because if you are, that might get rid of some of these bastards. Okay. So as it turns out, yes, the fire effect is completely useless. And I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to attack you. It's Atronach. I was right. It was a flame Atronach. Just a particular type of Atronach. Some of you guys dead, by the way. You guys might be struggling a little bit, but if we all just work together, we can take them down, damn it. You, you're not resistant to fire. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh, flippin' yeah. Now we're good. Now we're in good shape, and you are also... Oh, I think some of these guys might be unkillable for the time being. Brilliant. Right, last of them goes down. Make sure we get the fire salts and whatnot. And also make sure I bloody heal. Because, oh, so many arrows. Oh, you guys were firing the arrows. Oh, free arrows. I need arrows. Uh, kind of low on arrows right now. Is the team okay? How are we doing? And also, when well, I was supposed to be going... I was kind of supposed to be going here, to be honest. Sorry, not RK. Akatosh, wrong god earlier. Sorry, my mistake. <laughs> we wiped the bastards out. It's safe to pull those people out of the chapel. Let's get in there and make sure they're all right. Come on. This is only the beginning of the battle for Kavach. We can discuss the next phase once the civilians are safe. All right. We are now safe to go into the chapel. Life is flipping good. Oh, flip me. Blimey, that was... That was all a little bit, uh, a lot in many ways, actually. And, ooh, steel thing. John, you've literally got one of them back home. Also, you've got, like... No carry capacity. You really should have sold some stuff at that shop you are at just like 10 seconds ago. Also, I swear to Akatosh, if Martin's not in here, I am going to be very annoyed. Sir, we're all that's left. Barak Inian, myself, and these civilians. That's it? There's no one else? There were others, sir, but they refused to stay put. We tried to convince them it was dangerous. But they left anyway. I guess they didn't make it. Very well. The area outside the chapel has been cleared, and these people need to be taken to safety. Escort them to the camp south of here at once. But, sir, I want to help fight. You will, soldier. Once they're secure, get back here immediately. We'll need every available blade, and there'll be plenty of fighting to go around. Sir, yes, sir. Civilians, it's time to move out. Let's go. Oh, that's some good half-hearted voice acting right there. I like that. Okay, but, 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 hang on. Before we take the civilians, no, 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 hang on, Martin, before you go. Yes, me and you need to have a chat, Brother Martin. Um, the Emperor, in fact, gave me a specific mission pertaining to you. The Emperor is dead. Who are you? What do you really want with me? Hang on, hang on a cocky minute. Is that Sean Bean? 
Is Sean Bean Martin? Oh, I didn't know that. I knew Patrick Stewart voiced the Emperor in this. I didn't know Sean Bean had his voice in this. Oh, okay, I'm so sorry. If I knew you were Sean Bean, I would have come here with way more urgency. Patrick Stewart should have led with that. Yes, I'm a priest. Do you need a priest? I don't think I'll be much help to you. I'm having trouble understanding the gods right now. If all this is part of a divine plan, I'm not sure I want to have anything to do with it. Okay, Sean Bean's going through some stuff at the moment, and uh, there is a plan. Look, gods or not, we need to sort this out. If you came to me for help, you're more of a fool than you look. Look around. What good is a priest? Okay, we need to get to, yes, there we go, the important bit. Um, gonna be honest, buddy, this is not so much about you as the blood in your veins, which we kinda need to something something dragon fire. Emperor Uriel Septon? You think the Emperor is my father? No, you must have the wrong man. I am a priest of Akatosh. My father was a farmer. Okay, he's not wrong. We really should have asked for any form of proof, because him not believing me was a very real possibility. Though, yes, the Emperor knew about you. How would he know about you if you weren't important in some way? You spoke to the Emperor before he died? And he told you to find me? There we go. Now he's starting to get it. I don't know. It's strange. I... I think you might actually be telling the truth. What does this mean? What do you want from me? And I'm going to be honest, I'm not 100% clear on the details, but yes... Joffrey might know more. We need to get you back to Joffrey. You destroyed the Oblivion Gate, they say. You gave them hope. You helped them drive the Daedra back. Yes. I'll come with you to Wayne and Priory and hear what Joffrey has to say. Lead on. So, okay, in an exciting turn up for the books, I've now got Sean Bean as a temporary companion. So, basically, screw your stupid city, me and Sean Bean are going to go on some adventures. In particular, we're going back to, yes, one of my favourite towns in the whole of Cyrodiil, Coral. I love Coral. Coral's great. And my fiancé lives there, which is always nice as well. So, me and Sean Bean, back to Joffrey, time to figure out what the next big move is. Because now we've visited so many major towns, I assume we can start making, yeah, potentially if we wanted to, some rather fast progress in the main plot. Only towns I've not been to are, yes, the two down south, Bravel and Leowin, I think it was called. So... All right, we're starting to make some bloody progress here. Next time, more adventures with Sean Bean. Hopefully, you are looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Oblivion. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got a... I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.